Thank you so much, Mbide. That is uh, on the ground. You need to know how ready and how good your car and it is. It's better you take it for service in these few days that were released. Now, there is a good reason you may be having trouble figuring out whether to wear a face mask when you go out. Now, the scientific evidence supporting masks for community use has led to some confusing public health messages, and we all seem to be guessing. So tell us more about the importance of the wearing the masks. We have Dr. Grace Nambatia Cheyune, the Director of Research at the Ministry of Health's National Chemotherapeutics Institute. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. Now, for starters, we have a lot of masks on the street. Yes. We have the medical mask, the N95, yes. we have the surgical masks, yes. then we have the one that looks like a cape, okay. then we have the ones that are tailor-made by our Chiembe tailors. Yes. We need to know the variations in these masks and why should we be concerned about the ones we're having? Okay, um, like, yes, like you've said, a mm. uh, majority of people um, are wearing this a surgical mask yeah. and others are wearing this um, N95, yeah. all of which are meant for hospital. Okay. Well, we're waiting for that mask promised, you know, mm. for everybody, uh, which will be a cloth mask yeah. that is handy to use. And as we wait, uh, Minister of Health saw it uh, worthy mm. to really enlighten all of us on that community mask, a cloth mask yeah. that we should oh, yes. really be wearing. Um, while these are protective, the medical ones, they should be left for health workers. Okay. Because whenever you see somebody wearing one, there is a doctor out there or a health worker who is not having one. Okay. And they may find it very difficult to touch a patient. Mm. So we need to really cut on that. But of course, people will say, what should I get? Mm. So ministry has come out with a cloth mask mm. to get us sensitized about it regarding um, what the right mask okay. should be. And of course, we're going into the details of how to handle and how yeah. to wear it. Yes, there are lots of masks out there, but one needs to know how to look out the for specifications. the specifications. Yes. Yeah. First of all, um, at most, it should have two layers. Okay. Because you what see material are we using? Are you are we using polyester, nylon, silk, cotton? What are we using? What what material should this homemade mask look like? Best one should be cotton. Cotton. Okay. Though there could be others with a mix of polyester and cotton, mm. but the best today I'm talking about the, the best should be cotton, hundred percent. Okay. okay. And should have two layers, as mm. we see it here, um, outer layer here and an inner layer. Okay. Um, well, the different colors do help you to sort of be sure of what the what inner side layer, you take, oh yes. because you should be so careful not to touch, touch inside. The inner layer. In um, fact, even before before touching it, mm. you should sanitize. Okay. You know, so uh, public is encouraged to have small sanitizers, sanitizers that you move with in mm. your pocket. That are certified though, because there is a lot. They on should the also be certified. Yeah. You want to be so careful holding this mask. Mm. You hold it by, you know, um, these uh, elastic straps that should really go into the ears. Okay. And as you touch them, you should gauge and feel whether they will not be too tight on you. Because okay. when they are so tight, you even get headache and all that. Oh, yeah. Then, of course, we need to know how to properly, f before wearing them, the mask should have a pocket inside. The okay. inner layer should have a pocket. Why, and why is the pocket... Uh, in the there the pocket is to hold as a, uh, um, a screen okay this is added reinforcement in the mask okay because uh, this one is made out of propylene okay. propylene and for those who don't have this they could use tissue or toilet paper okay the guideline which is freely accessible from national bureau of standards talks mm. about that okay. but the ministry has mapped its guideline onto that standard mm. so it goes inside here it gives this addi get additional reinforcement so it's the filter it's the filter mm. and then uh, remember i sanitize so it's yeah. okay that i'm touching so you mm. hold like this and then as you wear it you start with the chin because mm. you have to ensure that this mask covers the chin mm. and it covers the mouth fully the nose yeah. and it should be fitting because the there are some masks that are gapping open oh yes which means they will defeat the purpose of protecting you mm. and there are some masks 
which has so thin, you and know. They're so tight. So this full, it should be a full mask, well fitting. This is being a cotton mask. It's yeah. a breathing mask. It doesn't obstruct a lot of air from coming in, yeah. and meanwhile, it can dissipate the the used air that you mm. don't need. Okay. Yeah. So um, when it ta it's time to like you you want to have a breather, so you're alone in the room and you really want to take it off, mm. you still um, carefully take it off, protecting the inner side, and you should have some form of maybe envelope or pocket like this mm. for you to keep it, because you may find that you may not put it on constantly in oh, yeah. all, all the hours. Now, that is yep. something we need to talk about. Yes. People are wearing masks even in offices where they are, you know, other people. Mm -hmm. People are wearing masks when they are alone in the cars. Yep. People are wearing masks mm -hmm. when they are alone in the houses. Yep. When should we wear the masks? We should wear the masks the moment we're going to meet that public. public. Okay. The moment you're going, you know, like you might be going to the market, you mm. might be going to use public transport, um, you might be going to a training program, mm. but when you're alone, you don't need to use the mask. Okay. That's where now you fold it carefully, put it, you know, somewhere, mm. though easily accessible, because you could be there in your office and somebody comes in, mm. a, a visitor. You yeah. don't know much about the visitor. Mm. And you should wear a mask if you sit near somebody having flu or oh a yeah. cold, or you could be the one with a cold and you want to protect others. Oh yeah. So you need really to gauge, and uh, you might be in your home, Basically, in your home, you wouldn't be using a mask, but supposing you got that visitor you don't know much about, oh, yeah. or you had flu and you want to protect the people you live with, then you wear a mask. Oh. Okay, yeah. there is a lot of social distancing that has come um, in phase of uh, COVID-19 and the, and the masks. How scientific is this? First of all, um, you preventing others from getting what you might be having mm. scientifically has proven to really uh, be handy in preventing uh, okay. infection though wearing a mask shouldn't mean that you cut on social distancing mm. you should maintain social distancing because uh, you might be wearing a mask and maybe uh, you know uh, it drops so we still need to maintain that uh, it's been proven that first of all social distancing is one of the key ways of preventing. Mm. Uh, we're just reinforcing that prevention with a mask and mm. still uh, maintaining the issue of using a sanitizer. So scientifically, mm. these all these are barriers, okay. you know, that really um, pre prevent the infection. The infection. Yes. There is a lot of research being done with regards to finding uh, the vaccine or the drug. Um, I want to know how are we holding up as a nation from your from your from your from your perspective as a nation with COVID nineteen. Yeah, from my perspective, um, first of all, there is an effort on the Ugandan side to get scientists really try to find um, remedies mm. on that side. There is a cluster working on vaccines. Mm. There is a cluster I'm I'm heading that mm. is looking into our biodiversity to look at those medicinal plants that could really contribute to getting um, a therapy. Mm. And in this regard, uh, on the herbal side, therapies are not looked at so much into like killing a virus. Okay. We're looking at toning down inflammation okay. because uh, the pandemic comes a lot with inflammation. They call it a cytokine storm, mm. you know, where defenses, all the defense systems come out to defend you and in the process you're affected as uh, a patient. So mm. we have lots of uh, medicinal plants that can tone down what we call inflammation. Okay. And we have a lot in history that have always been used in Uganda to to, 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 to mitigate flus and those hard coughs. So mm. we have a bank of all those and we're currently looking at those. There is one the, there yeah. they always give children, um, uh, the, the hub is it, Kabuti, the likes for the, for the kids. Yeah, actually mm. um, we have a whole collection of so many. Oh. And uh, as I talk, uh, people engaged in that area have come up to bring us lots of formulations and mm. government has in its plan to support us to this time around, validate it against corona, co COVID-19 related symptoms. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we have a, another group working on um, test kits. Um, then we have another group working on fortification, mm. uh, looking at micronutrient support. For example, uh, vitamin D3 mm. is very, very critical in really um, 
uh, mitigating this challenge. Mm. This tree is usually from sunshine. They like the 10 o'clock sun. Mm. And we know very well that as Africans, our black color normally prevents us from getting enough vitamin D3. Mm -hmm. And when you read around um, in Europe, uh, the affected black people, partly it's been because of the low D3, because mm -hmm. they cannot get it well from the sun. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the sun out there is not that much. So right. fortification, there is a cluster of researchers, part of us, mm -hmm. who are working on how to make D3 and another group working on how to put D3 in our foods, fortification. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at products that may come soon to really support should we have um, a, a very bad pandemic. Right now we don't have that mm. very bad situation, but mm. we are ready for that and government is really supporting that. And of course, all that's going to be um, supported by also having these protective measures. The and masks and, masks and all one that. Of them, yes. um, Well, in the wake of COVID-19, um, a lot of sanitizers are on the market now. It's the new normal. Yep. You've told us about the masks. You've told us how to use them and how the homemade should look like. Yes. Let's dive a little bit into the, the, the sanitizers. Yep. Why should we be critical about the sanitizers we are having? Then the other thing is we have maids at home. Possibly they couldn't be knowing that it's highly flammable. Sure. So mm -hmm. uh, indulge us about the sanitizers. Actually, we should be critical about sanitizers because, first of all, we should be sure that, that a particular sanitizer can really protect you. Mm -hmm. Because by WHO standards, it should have a particular percentage of alcohol. Mm -hmm. And if we're looking at COVID-19 or other viruses, you need alcohol content as high as 90%. Mm -hmm. And there now you're talking of a flammable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so there is need for... Um, uh, policing uh, sort of uh, enforcement of mm -hmm. a standard. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, the enforcers are like National Drug Authority, by either one board member, National Drug Authority, mm -hmm. and uh, National Bureau of Standards. Because now people, if they're not guided, like now with this lift up of uh, lockdown that is mm -hmm. coming in, there was recommendation of uh, having a sanitizer in the car. Mm -hmm. But now in the car, you should always remove it, not keep it there all along because it's, uh, this um, alcohol keeps evaporating oh. and the effectiveness would go down. And uh, So whenever I'm leaving the car, I move with it? Yes. Cause now and how do I keep it now? Okay, <laughs> you have to remove it because some people park where there is a lot of sun. Yeah. You talked of the maids in the homes. They need to know that alcohol is flammable. Uh, because now as we sanitize surfaces, given that COVID sticks on surfaces, mm. uh, you might find somebody, you know, a, a fire nearby and there is a risk. Mm. Uh, people sanitize in their cars and they sanitize the car key. Mm. And if you sanitize and put it in the engine, you're creating a bomb. Oh. Yes, you're creating a bomb because alcohol and petrol, whatever, the yeah, inflammable, yeah, yeah. that is really so. There is need for follow um, progressive sensitization on the chemical we are handling. Okay. Yes. So, wow. um, so after I sanitize the key, I give it a few minutes to, you, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you wouldn't sanitize and immediately okay. uh, use it. Yes, yeah, so these sanitizers are going to be very very needed in big, like big amounts because like I imagine a situation where you sanitize the tables, the rails, yes. when people are moving. Mm. Um, even this inside filter in a mask, you might, you know, sanitize if you have like a spray. It. Like this one here, mm. it's a gel. Yes. It's not a spray. It's a gel, but it's, it's, uh, it's handy. Mm. Uh, well, when I'm entering a building, it's a spray. Yes. So we need to even know the different kinds of sanitizers. But um, most importantly, the um, regulation, policing, yeah. policing. But with these educational programs, we mm. end up policing ourselves because I'll, I'll not wait somebody to police me when I'm entering my house. And yeah. yeah. It's entirely about it. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. That is, of course, uh, Dr. Cheyune Nambatia, who happens to come from the Institute of uh, Research and uh, Chemo Thera. Research. Th therapeutics research, Minister of Education, yeah. uh, rather Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. A couple of things she has highlighted on are the masks and all this, when to use it and when not to use it, and how exactly to make If you're making one at home, please make sure that it has two layers, one on the inside, one on the out, better when their colors are different, yeah. but it has mm -hmm. to be cotton in one or the other, then you can put a filter inside. Sanitizers, let's be careful not to 
to make ourselves bombs because you sanitize the key, you ignite the car, you're going to explode. I'm Andrew Uchiamagero. Thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. And shortly after us, much more exciting programming follows. Farida Nakazwe is coming up with Mwasuza Mutia. Good morning.